Okay, I'm trying out a look here with this Hermes scarf around my neck. What do you think? Does it work? Does it not work? Do I look too much like a flight attendant? Not that there's anything wrong with flight attendants. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. What I'm going to show you today is this Chanel inspired bag from Lamb Gallery, which is on Amazon. And I'm gonna show you what fits in this bag and what things look like in the bag. And more specifically, I'm going to show you Louis Vuitton SLGs, cause that's what I have. And that's what most of you, I think, watch my channel for is Vuitton. So we'll see how these look together. Um, full disclosure, I filmed this the other day, the day that I got this bag, and there were several problems with that video, so I'm redoing it right now. And one of the downsides of redoing a video is that you don't get my uh, like original authentic reaction to things, because I was filling this up and learning about it as I'm filming and kind of learning along with you. So I already know what fits. What I'm gonna do, and I already know what I like the best in this bag and the thing I found that I thought worked the best. So I don't know if you even care about that, but I just wanted to let you know. And I'm gonna save my favorite thing for last. I am also gonna tell you this. I learned about this bag from 408 California 408, who's another YouTuber. She got this bag off Amazon, which is where Lamb Gallery says it, I already said that. And her video blew up and Lamb Gallery sold out of this bag. I was told, um, or not I was told, I looked on their page, on the listing page, which I will link below, and it looks like the owner of Lamb Gallery said that these should be back in stock at the end of April. While I was on Amazon today, I came across another bag that appears to be identical to this one. I don't know if they're from the same manu manufacturer. I don't know if it's the same bag. It's a little bit cheaper, a few dollars cheaper. It looks the same. It comes in the same colors, which is always a clear bag. I think they all have the gold hardware. I know Lamb Gallery is all gold hardware but they have gold trim, silver trim, black trim, and white trim. Uh, both companies have that. I'm gonna link the other bag website below, They're the other company that sells these on Amazon. They didn't have Prime shipping, so you wouldn't get this in two days if you have Prime, and they charge like $4 for shipping. I don't know how long their shipping takes, and I do not know the quality of their bags because I have not seen those in person, but they look to me like they're the same bag. So. If you're interested, if you're really aching to get one, you don't want to wait for Lamb Gallery till the end of the month, that's another option for you, but I can't guarantee what the quality would be. Lamb Gallery is the only one that I have in my hands here. So let's get on with this. I'm going to show you a few different combinations of things in this bag. So here is combination number one. And first I'll show you what it looks like. And actually, I guess as I'm turning the bag around, I can just point out what everything is. And then um, I don't have to open the bag to show you because it's clear. Okay, so in this combination, I have my full-size Sarah wallet. I have a clay over here, just the regular size little monogram clay. On the back, I have my camera and I have a toiletries 15. And then sitting on the top is my sunglasses case. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, one of the things I talked about in the first video that I filmed was that I don't want it to look cluttered. And th that's just me. I'm like, I'm like that. Um, I like things to look pretty, even though it's kind of silly and pointless for a lot of people. A lot of people don't care about that. I want it to look pretty. And this is a little on the cluttered side, but it's not too bad. And this is one of the reasons I get all my SLGs to match in monograms so that when I open my bag, or in this case, in a clear bag, it looks so pretty. I also think that the monogram looks really nice with the gold hardware. And here's exactly the same combination, but without the sunglasses case, I just have my reading glasses sitting on top. That's not terrible either. Oh, one thing I want to mention is that I use the back pocket to slip in my cell phone. I have the iPhone 6, and I'm not going to keep that in here for the combinations because then you can't see what the bag looks like in the back. But that's what it looks like with the phone in it. 
I'm gonna keep that out so you can see what it looks like on the back. Not that anybody's gonna see the back because that's gonna be up against your body. It's the front and the sides that people would see or that you would see. Here's mostly the same combination as number one, except this time I switched the full-size Sarah wallet for the Sarah compact wallet, and then I moved things around a little. So there you have the Sarah up front, you've got the toiletries 15 in the back, and then you've got the camera on the side, the clay, and then I had the reading glasses out, so they're on the side there. Um, for me, that's too cluttered, especially with the camera showing and being silver. I wouldn't do that, but some other people wouldn't care. Here's combination number three, the same as those two, except I switched out the Toiletries 15 for the mini pochette. The mini pochette, the Toiletries 15, and the Sarah Compact wallet are all pretty much exactly the same size, so they're gonna look pretty similar. You can see there's still quite a bit of room on the top if you wanted to put something there. Same combination again, this time I moved the, uh, what is it called, the mini pochette up to the front and I have the toiletries 15 on the back. One thing I wanted to mention is when you put two items like that back to back, it does get a little bit crowded in there and I don't think it's crowded enough that it would damage anything, but just to let you know. And it's a flexible bag being plastic. Um, it's not gonna dent anything, it's not gonna scratch. Uh, one other thing, is that the plastic, let's see the best way to show this to you. I'm trying to figure out the best way to show you this one thing. Some of the plastic, when the plastic touches plastic, it kind of sticks together. And it's not a bad thing, it's just, I don't think it's gonna show up too well. You can see it right here and right here, um, where it just looks a little bit different and you have to kind of peel it apart. I wonder how this is gonna hold up in the heat. I'll be out in the heat with it this weekend probably, so I can let you know after that happens. I don't know if it will get hot to the touch, if, I don't think it would melt, but if the plastic sticking together would be more of a problem. Um, I'm curious about that. Here's the compact Sarah wallet, the clay, and then on the back, the camera and the sunglasses case. Of course, you don't have to have Louis Vuitton to be able to use one of these bags and put pretty things in it. This is a wallet that I got in Italy that has these pretty cockatoos on it. And then on the back is a little pouch that a friend gave me. I think that's by Cat's Eye. And that has a dachshund because she knows I love dachshunds. So you can definitely do cute things in here besides Louis Vuitton, I mean, obviously. Okay, now for my favorite thing. When I was filming this the first time, this was the first thing I put in the bag and I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. That's it, I need nothing else. This is the bag with a pochette accessories or accessoire. And I think that's just perfect. That's all you need. That little bag in there holds a lot. That'll hold all your essentials, your wallet, your whatever's, as long as you don't carry you know, a ton, you can minimize. And the fact that it's a limited edition pochette, I mean, for me, that's the only one that I have right now. Um, I, I wanna get all the regular ones, but they're so hard to find right now and they're so expensive and overpriced on a lot of places that you find them. Um, but what I was saying in the original video is particularly with a limited edition one, I always worry about the, um, I always worry about the silk screening on the limited edition pieces chipping off or rubbing on something, getting damaged, or if you have the pochette in azure and you're worried about color transfer, this is a great option. So you can put your pochette in here, it's showcased, it's beautiful, you can see it, you can use it, it'll still go with your outfit but it's protected. It's protected from the weather. It's protected from rubbing against your clothes and getting color transfer. It's protected from scratching against things and the and chipping and stuff. It's perfect. So what I was saying in the other video is now I need like all the pochettes and all the limited, well, I don't need all of them because there are a lot of them that I don't actually like, but I need the Steven Sprouse Roses one. Can you imagine that in here? That would be so beautiful. If you have one of those and you get one of these bags, show me. Send me a picture and I'll feature it somewhere or put it on Instagram and tag me or if you're a YouTuber, do a video about it and let me know. 
because I want to see it. That would be so gorgeous. I think this one looks great. And then there's still room for other stuff in here too. If you wanted to put more in here, let me show you that. I love this combination too. So I have my big pochette in the back and then I have my big Sarah wallet in the front so I can have all my wallet stuff in there and I can have a bunch of necessities in here. And it still looks really pretty. It's not cluttered. You don't have little things on the side and keys and whatever that you could fit in the pochette. It still looks really nice and clean. And then here it is with the pochette accessoire in the back, but then a smaller wallet, the Sarah Compact up front and a clay there so you have your keys. So that still looks nice and not too cluttered. Although for me, because this is how I roll, that bothers me because it's sideways and all the other monogram goes this way and that monogram goes that way and it drives me crazy. So I would not be able to carry it like this but that's my problem. And then I came up with this idea last night and I thought it was genius and I've been thinking about it all day and looking forward to trying this out in the video tonight. And then it was really funny because one of my, um, one of my viewers commented that she thought this would be a good idea and I was like, wait a minute, I thought that was my own original idea. Nobody else would ever think of that. And she thought of it a few hours after I did. So maybe not so original. Somebody else has probably done this, but here's my idea. Take this bag and let's say you have a bunch of stuff you need to put in it and it would look cluttered and you don't really want people to see it. Or maybe you just want to do this to showcase a different item. You take this bag and you put a scarf in it. You line it with a scarf, right? And then you can put your stuff in. So let me get a few things in here. Okay, now I have a few things in there. And then you just fold in the edges. You just cover up your stuff with the scarf. And then when you close it, and I haven't done this yet, so I don't know how good or bad this is gonna look. In my head, it's gorgeous, but we'll see how it looks in real life. So you fold the scarf over itself, close up the bag, and then you've got the scarf featured in here. I think it looked better in my head but it doesn't look terrible. I think what it looks more like rather than lining it, cause it would really have to kind of touch the edges of the bag to line it the way I'm envisioning. Um, what it looks more like is a big pouch that's in there that's made of that fabric. And that's something else you can do like with my idea about just putting the pochette accessoire in is you can get a big toiletry pouch, a nylon pouch. I saw some Prada nylon pouches that were pretty, that looked like they would fit pretty well in this. You could just put a pouch in there and then put all your stuff in the pouch and then it doesn't look so cluttered. But anyway, that's an idea. You can decide if you like that or not. It's okay. I'm not as happy as I thought I would be with it. Well, that's it for my what fits and what it looks like video on this Lamb Gallery bag that looks like a Chanel inspired bag. If you have any questions, if there's something you want me to try to fit in here that you know I have in my collection, or if you have some questions or whatever, let me know in the comment section below and I can either do a new video on it if it, if it needs a video, or I can do something, take a picture, put it on the Instagram. I'm Autumn Beckman on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, do it. And that's it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Don't unlike it if, or dislike it though, that's not nice. Subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more from me. And click the bell notification icon if you want to be notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic evening. Bye.